children you have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video in this video we will learn some interesting facts related to subtraction using borrowing with the help of the conversation between chi chi and chu chu oh what is this chi chi is counting her jellies again and again i think she is having some difficulty in counting the jellies look chu chu has come he will definitely help chi chi let's see hello chi chi oh what happened why are you so upset oh chu chu i had 50 jellies with me and from those I gave twenty-three jellies to my friend Meeti, so I should have thirty-seven jellies left with me. But there are only twenty-seven jellies here. Chichi, you gave twenty-three jellies from your fifty jellies, right? Yes. So now tell me, how did you know that fifty minus twenty-three is equal to? Thirty-seven. Look here, I did fifty minus twenty-three with the help of the table of ones, tens, and I got thirty-seven as the answer. Oh, Chichi, look here carefully. You borrowed one from five tens of the box of tens, and wrote ten ones in the place of ones, but you forgot. to subtract 110 from 5 tens in the box of tens oh yes you are right chuchu so here if we will subtract 110 from 5 tens in the box of tens then it will be 4 tens if we will subtract 2 tens from 4 tens then we will be left with 2 tens yes so this way If we will subtract twenty-three jellies from fifty jellies, then you will be left with only twenty-seven jellies. Yes, now I have understood it well. Thank you so much, Chu Chu. Look, Chi Chi. In subtraction, whenever we borrow ten from a digit, we have to reduce that digit by a ten. Yes, Chu Chu. From now on, I will remember that. Did you see how easily Chu Chu solved Chi Chi's difficulty? So today we have learned some interesting facts related to subtraction of two-digit numbers with borrowing. In the next video, we will understand how both subtraction and addition are useful.